Back to Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Holding at Tanaka Elementary School. The uh, sick out that happened uh, last week. Mm-hmm. Lots of kids uh, falling ill in the in the hallways. It got me thinking back in the in the day with the uh, the school nurse. Mm-hmm. Did your first of all? Did you have a school nurse? Because I guess that's not like a rule anymore. There's I guess not every school has a school nurse. I think I think back when we were growing up, that it was a rule. Were they good? I mean, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I don't really particularly know how good mine was. I know they have band aids. They mm-hmm. certainly have band aids. There was one I day ice packs. Ice packs, yes. The, the, the little squishy one where you just push it and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden it's cold. Mm-hmm. I used to think that was magic. Yeah. Um, there was one day in uh, in sixth grade, I uh, I was absent the day they were checking for lice. Mm-hmm. Did you have a lice check? No. <gasps> I thought that was a thing. I don't know. We I don't know if it just never, it was never a thing for, for us. We never, I, I don't remember not a single person ever having lice when I was like growing up ever maybe, I, i'm just like i'm having this flashback now maybe they there was a lice case and then they were just checking everybody but without saying there was a lice case mm-hmm. it was just like hey everybody we're checking for lice today so maybe that was maybe there was a kid with lice i don't know so i was absent the day that they were doing lice check so then i came in the next day and the nurse comes in special for me and says sean you're gonna come downstairs and then everyone in the class says, ooh, Sean has lice. <laughs> and from that moment on, I became lice boy. I They started calling me flakes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I swear, not a month later, do I have flakes. No. I had dandruff for like a year and a half going forward. That literally, you thought the snow yesterday was bad. Oh, my God. Flakes that were like half dollar size somehow were coming from my head. get some Pantene Pro-V. <laughs> I was so I was using salsa and blue, and that wasn't working. Mm-hmm. And anyone that's had, like, especially as a kid, had the dandruff, uh, and like the you know the the head and shoulders isn't working, the salsa blue isn't working. They have this stuff that's like tar. <laughs> it's like tar for your head mm-hmm. that will I don't know just stop it from happening. But like it's legit made of tar. Wow. That that yeah. So this the nurse really set me up for disaster in sixth grade. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We never. Um, I honestly don't remember ever, anybody ever having that. Um, uh, it would. But I could not ever help my kid out if that happened. <laughs> it would have to be somebody else. Figure well, that out. You would have to have your husband give them a haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I couldn't imagine having a girl. Whoo! Because. Oh. I know um, a girl that uh, just on social media, she was talking about having to actually get that out of her kid's hair and, they're, and it was a, a girl, so you can't just shave their head and whoo, no thank you. That's yeah. not for me. Um, knock on wood though, Jaden hasn't had that issue. That's good. Yeah. Um, as far as like getting sick in school, I feel like that was everybody's um, like fear. When you were growing, when in elementary school, that was the fear is getting sick in class because every time somebody like threw up in class, it was like, you know, the big, is a big issue, big thing. And they'd have to come in with the sand, right? To, to cover it up, to soak sand. it all up. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, the Kitty litter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so and they'd rough. have to soak it all up and clean it up. And it was just, I never, it never happened to me, but I can, I will tell you, Andy Reach happened to him twice. And I was like, come on, bro, like, get yourself together. <laughs> to the point where years later, you remember his name was Andy I remember Andy it 100%. And he puked, and he puked, puked twice. <laughs> Twice. I will never forget it. One time he was wearing a turtleneck and it had hamburgers on it. <laughs> it was a white turtleneck with hamburgers on it. I'm not kidding. And I, it's sad because obviously he didn't meet, like he didn't want to throw up in class, but he got sick. And if you did, it was just like traumatizing for you and everybody around you. So luckily that didn't happen to me. So kids, if you've learned anything today, when an adult tells you, ah, don't worry about it. No one will ever remember this. Mm-hmm. The adult is lying. <laughs> We all have a very long memory. (laughs)